My name is Chris Marzarella. I grew up in Union Township, New Jersey. My first job uh, was at a place called TDS Fitness Superstore. It's a home gym equipment store. I got my start there. Uh, started out at 15, 16 years old. And from there, that's where I grew my passion for bodybuilding. Um, went to college, became a uh, special education teacher. I went to Jersey City State for special education teaching. I did that for 15 years. Uh, throughout those years, I was a personal trainer and I owned a percentage of a place called Pure Focus. It is a powerlifting uh, bodybuilding club. Originally, it was me and my dad. We decided to sell a place. I invested in a powerlifting gym. It wasn't a great fit for either one of us, so I just keep doing my thing. I have my studio here. I wasn't able to play sports when I was a kid, so I had really no outlet and I used to get in a lot of trouble, uh, which was probably one of the reasons I became a special education teacher. I got a job at a, a fitness store and I met a guy named Bill Pearl who was like a really famous bodybuilder in the 60s and 70s. Bill Pearl was one of the people that inspired me. Uh, Lou Ferrigno, because of his uh, hearing loss, I have a hearing loss. I'm, I have about 30% hearing left. Those are the people that kind of got me started in bodybuilding and training. You know, like they all 80s guys like Tom Platts. I know you guys don't know what I'm talking about. These guys are like where I want to be. I want to be on that Mount Rushmore of fitness uh, fitness enthusiasts. Uh, Lane Norton, these are all guys that inspire me to be better at what I do. And uh, I've always taken those lessons from when I was a kid to adulthood. When I decided to stop teaching, my father and I opened up Snap Fitness. We did that for seven years. In between that, I was always a personal trainer since 1984. So my father and I decided we were going to do the franchise gym together. Once we did that, I realized that personal training is my true love and not the back office of owning a gym. You know, I still stuck with personal training. I had some of my best successes in that uh, in that time period. And it's just, it's been a beautiful flow of um, successes. When I first got that job uh, from a guy named Roger, he and his family really took me in. They showed me, you know, the, the aspects of fitness and bodybuilding and powerlifting and you know he just he really took a liking to me he inspired me to continue better and better and better to be better and better i still use him to today I, sometimes i'm walking around with his voice in my head